How are you doing, ladies and gentlemen? If, uh, if you're anything like me, you research things quite a bit before you buy it, and especially with a high dollar item like this water filter. Uh, and so I'll give you my honest opinion on this. If you're having a hard time deciding which one to buy, I'll tell you the, the upsides and the downsides to this particular model. It's called, it's the Berkey Royal. And uh, it's one of their bigger models, but it's not, uh, frankly, it's not as big as I thought it was gonna be, but it's still, it's still plenty big for our purposes. Uh, we are a family of six, so we go through quite, quite a bit of drinking water, uh, as well as cooking water. We use this for any time we're boiling stuff, if we're, if we're using water for soup, so on and so forth. Everything goes to the filter first. Um, so we've had this now for about six months, really happy with it. We got a perfect little spot here on the counter for it. Um, that was the big dilemma, where are we gonna put this giant thing? Uh, ended up, we've got a perfect spot here on the counter for it. Additionally, filling, filling this, at first, when we first got this, we used this pitcher, we'd fill the pitcher, and then we'd pour it in the top. Well then, I realized this is long enough to actually reach directly in to the top here. So I'll show you. Take this all the way out, drop the nozzle right in the top, and I just let it fill until it's to the top. So, some things I like about this filter are obviously the water is very clear, very, very good tasting. Um, when I first got it though, it failed the water coloring test, or the food coloring test. I added, up in the top, I added the, the uh, red food coloring dye, and then it came through. So I was like, well that's not very good, you know, I paid three, four hundred bucks for this thing and it's not working. Well, in the end what it was is the filter grommets, it's got the black, it's got the black filters in there. The, uh, the bottom of that where they cast the plastic had some burrs on there, so I had to take a file and just knock the edges of those burrs down, put everything back together, and uh, it passed that food coloring test. So if you have the same problems, I would suggest doing that. I would actually just suggest checking those seals out before you even uh, do the test. Um, so that's one bummer on that. I had to kind of clean that up before it would work. The other bummer is I bought the, uh, the metal spigot for this. Well, that's not compatible with, with the uh, sight glass. And the sight glass is one thing you will want to buy. If you're gonna buy a water filter, you want the sight glass because it tells you how much water is in the bottle. Um, like right now, the level of water is right there. So I'm actually gonna to have to drink some water or it's gonna overflow. Because as you can see, I wasn't really paying attention. I just overfilled the top. Um, usually we wait, we wait until the water gets down to about here and then we just top off the top. But uh, I didn't do that. So we'll have to drink some water, not a big deal. Uh, total, drain, total filtration time on this is probably about two hours. So it's pretty quick. Um, I'm not sure how many gallons it is, probably two and a half, three gallons. But it's enough to last our family of six, probably a day and a half, and then we refill it. Um, Works pretty awesome. The, fil the the water itself is fantastic. Uh, it's better than anything we've ever tried before. We've tried numerous different filters. We've tried, uh, we even went bottled water for a while. We had a refrigerated, fr refrigerator mounted filter. Um, just none of them really performed quite like this. So six months of time, the thing still filters awesome. We haven't done it, done any extreme testing or anything like that, but for what we use, couldn't be happier with it. So good, fresh, clean water right here. Uh, that's all I've got for you. So hopefully that helps you.